what's up everyone this is again filipina elated and of course for today's video i am in the countryside in our province where i was born so today is my birthday and i am so thankful for all the gifts and of course for all the supports that you give to me i'm just a beginner and i didn't expect that i would reach this far I'm going to share about my life story, my status, about my family, and of course, why did I created this YouTube channel and what is the purpose of it. So, to begin, um, first, I'm gonna say thank you to all my subscribers who always support me, who always encourage me to do better, and of course to Edward who always uh, remind me to keep on going. When I was a kid, I used to be a crybaby. Like, um, I always go to my mom and my mother is a vendor in the market. She's a flower vendor and I always see her um, doing, repacking some flowers. So when I grow up, I learned it from her. And I always dream to help my family to support them, of course, in the future so that I can pay back, pay them back in the future. But um, this January 2022, I know, February 2022, my mother um, passed away because of, because of blood, high blood pressure. And um, it's just sad for me because my mother always look for us, look for her family without even realizing that um, she didn't even care about herself. That she always look for us but herself, um, she's just doing like, she's not really caring to herself. And for us, she's working so hard so that we have foods in the table. In the table so that time that time my mother went to the market of course and since there are still flowers left my mother should be should go in the cemetery to sell the flowers that left during that time my mother um, go in our boarding house and bring some foods some canned goods rice for us but um, as minute goes by there's someone calling me and saying that my mother is in that place and unconscious so I was a bit shocked that my mother is is in that situation because just a little minute my mother go with us and feel so okay so I suddenly ran, ran to that place, and of course, um, I grab, um, I grab my mother and bring to our home. But suddenly, my neighbors um, call the ambulance because they want my mother to be safe and bring it to the hospital. So I call my brother, and of course, he agreed that my mother should be in a hospital for safety so the next moment is we have to do a CT scan for my mother to know that if her brain is don't have any blood clot at all so when we receive the uh, outcome it's just sad that my mother have a blood clot in her head so the doctor decided to bring my mother into the big city which is the Cebu city to um, cure or to cure his uh, her um, um, head that have a blood clot the doctor said that we should um, go to that hospital which is in the Cebu city because they said that that hospital have a complete equipment for the good health of my mother with a heavy heart we agree to go there even though we know that um, it's very strike um, it's very strike the rules and because of COVID-19 
but we can do anything that time because we have really nothing at all and seeing my mother in that very hard situation with this um, tubes and her nose made me so so hurt sad because I don't want her to be in that situation at all because I want her to live life and when we are in the Cebu city um, my mother is in the inside of the hospital while us the family is in the outside because they said that we sh um, uh, they have rules um, we should put um, cell phone and our patient and they just uh, called us if they want some help help or needs for my mother so uh, three days from that my doctors uh, the doctor said that my mother is okay and fuck they um, put it into the other word because she feels okay but one day after that they called us telling us that my mother heart beat is my mother heart beat is just stop so we said that we said that doc can you please do anything for my everything for my mother so that she will be alive and the heartbeat, heartbeat will be back but they said that we do everything we can but no just my mother really passed away so that time it feels so hard for me to accept that my mother is finally gone is my mother passed away just because of high blood pressure and if I would be asked if what is the biggest regret that I have ever made in my life and turn out really that turn out really well as that we agreed that my mother that we should bring my mother into the hospital which is a public hospital because we know that that public hospital is um, there's a lot of patients need to be um, cure and and it's just I just regret it because um, we said yes to their offer but all that we think that time is for my mother's health and we want my mother to be good and to be good of course because um, it feels hard it feels sad to see my mother um, in that very hard situation with many tubes w in her nose and can even eat foods so the doctor said that we should um, go to that hospital which is in the Cebu city because they said that that hospital have a complete equipment for the good health of my mother with a heavy heart we agree to go there even though we know that um, it's very strike um, it's very strike the rules and because of COVID-19 but we can do anything that time because we have really nothing at all and seeing my mother in that very hard situation with this um, tubes and her nose made me so so hurt, sad because I don't want her to be in that situation at all because I want her to live life and when we are in the Cebu city um, my mother is in the inside of the hospital while us the family is in the outside because they said that we sh um, uh, they have rules um, we should put um, cell phone and our patient 
and they just uh, called us if they want some help help or needs for my mother so uh, three days from that my doctors uh, the doctor said that my mother is okay and fuck they um, put it into the other word because she feels okay but one day after that they called us telling us that my mother heart beat is my mother heart beat is just stop so we said that we said that doc can you please do anything for my everything for my mother so that she will be alive and the heart heartbeat will be back but they said that we do everything we can but no just my mother really passed away so that time it feels so hard for me to accept that my mother is finally gone is my mother passed away just because of high blood pressure and if I would be asked if what is the biggest regret that I have ever made in my life and turn out really that turned out really well as that we agreed that my mother that we should bring my mother into the hospital which is a public hospital because we know that that public hospital is um, there's a lot of patients need to be um, cure and and it's just I just regret it because um, we said yes to their offer but all that we think that time is for my mother's health and we want my mother to be good and to be good of course because um, it feels hard it feels sad to see my mother um, in that very hard situation with many tubes w in her nose and can even eat foods so so after eight days uh, we bury in our our mom and the cemetery and 40 days after that my brother also passed away because of car accident just imagine things that it's just too early to be to be to hear that um, words again that my brother passed away and it is very very hard to accept that so I forgot to mention that um, this that also my grandmother which is my the fa the mother of my father also died but um, she's been sick almost one year and that's happened after my after my brother's death like it's happened really thrice in our family not to mention about my um uncle that is that died December 2021 date 16 even if it's really hard for me to accept the fact that my mother is gone but I have to remain um, standing to live my life and to reach my dreams because that's all what uh, that's what my mother wants for me to become to finish my study even without her because I know that um, because she know that because she believe in my capabilities and my responsibilities in life that I am responsible and myself and the things that I always do so so if you are going to ask me about my life status in life 
as um, I'm just an average woman who always do everything for myself and help my family as well by selling flowers in the market during Saturday and Sunday and if you're gonna ask about relationship status I am single because I just um, heard the news that my boyfriend passed away and our relationship lasted almost two years and we never got a chance to meet in person because um, he is from around Mindanao while I live in Visayas which is the Cebu city and we are just students and we have many um, needs uh, financially to support our studies and of course to reach our dreams and I maybe tell this during my live stream about my family about my status but I'm gonna repeat this today because um, I want um, some viewers to uh, know to also know about me those who missed out my life yesterday and let's now go to what is the purpose of this YouTube channel of course aside from providing entertainment interviewing Filipina girls and of course to explore the world I'm creating this YouTube channel because I heard a news that YouTube if you will make a content in YouTube YouTube will um, give some payment for making videos so I decided to um, create one because I was to inspire of my cousin and she helps me a lot of course so I created this because I want to go and college I want to reach my dreams my dreams with myself with my own work and I don't want to depend my father because my father is just a farmer and he is here in countryside um, he is in countryside of course um, taking care of our some animals and my mother's death made me independent and survivor I basically had to support myself but thankfully my mother taught me to be self-supportive and also to learn the flower business as well I am motivated to be independent and a strong-willed woman I might be young but poverty makes us adult and of course our experience in life because we have to support ourselves we have to work and sweat for everything we want in life and I am beyond thankful that I discover YouTube in this very young age of me I've learned many things in life and that is to be grateful to accept the reality and to look forward and not backward because it is very important for us to survive and to keep um, to keep on going every day I must say that uh, my wish on this birthday that God will give me a healthy life for me and for my family and of course to I also wish that um, my illness will be cu cured soon and I'm really hoping to um, uh, I'm really happy and 
to those who keep on supporting on me and of course to to those person who believes in my capabilities thank you so much and so this is how we do it first we have to um, <laughs> so this is how and so after how many hours of repacking the flowers and of course we are done today and these are the flowers that I will be going to sell tomorrow in the market so this is my life during weekend this is my daily routine and I'm so glad that finally after how many hours I'm